I am about to serve myself up some tea. And maybe it'll be helpful for you guys as well. Um, <laughs> the good thing about this, this project that I'm doing is that um, I'm not... I think that I can help people function better than they're functioning. I obviously can't teach you how to live perfectly. I'm not a good example of that, but I... This is a stream about making progress when you have a lot of resistance and you're not doing the best. <laughs> I am drinking a La Croix. My coffee's actually empty. So here's, here's some irony. Stubbin, someone tell Stubbin to refresh. Thanks, Anandi. I'm glad you're enjoying them. So this stream was going to be about what I did this weekend to make sure that this Monday morning I will have no distraction, no reason not to wake up and immediately get to work. Um, the problem is I woke up and I... I, uh, well, it's three o'clock. <laughs> All of the things that I did this weekend did not make it easier to wake up and do the things that I said I was going to do. I am here though. I'm late, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> last week I only streamed three days. So my, my main goal for this week is to stream five days. Um, and eventually, you know, my long, my, my long term, uh, my vision is that I would like to, I'm working on my consistency. I want to be someone who streams every day at the same time so that you guys know where to find me. We can do this process together. I'm having an excessively hard time doing that. So I'm trying to break down that goal. Um, if you're having the same, setting the same goals every week every week and not achieving them. Um, I don't know, baby yourself, maybe. Um, I'm breaking it down into easier, smaller goals. So I'm going to go live five days this week. It's not going to be at consistent times, but I'm going to go live and get past some of this anxiety that keeps me from doing what I want to do. And then hopefully be able to get on a more consistent schedule time-wise. Lurikin tweeted at me last night asking when I was going to be live and I didn't answer because I, it's stressful. It's stressful to uh, commit to a time because sometimes I just, I need more, I need more time than I thought to get the courage. <laughs> five days, five days two streams a day for Monday through Friday. Well, Monday through Thursday. Friday, I'm going to go see my family, but I will do a morning stream. I... am having a hard time. <laughs> I'm having a really hard time today, but I'm here anyway. Uh, no, it's you didn't stress me out, just, just in general. Um, all right. I think I'm just going to go ahead and start. I'm just going to go chronologically through this of what I spent this weekend doing to prepare for the week and what went wrong. <laughs> so I did have a very good week. I had a uh, weekend. I'm sorry. I had a very productive weekend. I, like I said, I wanted to get everything done, get rid of every distraction so that there would be nothing holding me back. And this is what this is what I keep finding out about planning and preparing. It's that all that time and thought and effort it doesn't actually make it easier to wake up on Monday and work. 
I think that I think that we spend a lot of time planning for things. When you're planning, it feels like you're doing something. Planning is the first step. And if you are a chronic planner like I am and don't find yourself moving on from the first step, it's probably not a lack of plan that is your problem. Um, in my case, I think it's just the discomfort. And you plan and plan and plan as a, as a way to make the action less risky. And you plan and plan and plan and you try to plan until you're so comfortable with the plan that it's not scary anymore to go and do the thing that you're planning for. And uh, yeah, that's the problem. I planned everything perfectly and that discomfort has not gone away. And it's not going to, and that's okay. What uh, got me to start streaming today was just accepting that I'm not going to get comfortable. But this is, it's important to do this anyway. So I'm trying to s stop trying to get myself into a mindset where I'm comfy and get myself into a mindset of accepting some discomfort doing the plan doing the plan because if you're just waiting waiting trying to be comfortable you're going to be paralyzed forever um this applies to a lot of things i mean anyone who procrastinates is probably doing it because you know when you start when you start doing when you start doing the action whatever it is you're going to do it imperfectly and you don't want to do i meditate do yoga um i don't do yoga but i work out i write a lot i try to clear my head a lot but there's just a lot of junk in there so it doesn't always work out so well so what i did this morning <laughs> It started off good. I woke up, made coffee. I was like, okay, I'm ready to do the stream. I made breakfast and I sat down and I was like, I'll just spend a minute thinking about what I'm going to say. And I was going in circles and circles and circles. And I think that's the heart of why is because I worked so hard this weekend on getting myself to a place where all I had to do is stream. And I woke up today and it was still scary. <laughs> Hi, Ethel. <laughs> yeah. And it's going to keep being scary until I just keep doing it, you know? Do you want me to do that thing that we talked about? Um, the, the Pokemon thing or that other thing? <laughs> no, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, yeah, this is, this is what is tripping me up, I think, is that I wanted to come online today and show you guys how organized I am and um, free of distraction. <laughs> And I'm not free of distraction. It's very distracting. <laughs> what makes it scary? I don't... What's happening right now is what makes it scary. Like, sitting here and um, just having the words not come as smoothly as I want them to. And having these ideas that I know are good and helpful and just having a hard time getting them out you know it's just one of those cycles you know uh, being nervous about it makes you perform a little worse and kind of spirals off like that there is definitely a a version an alternate reality version of me who 
doesn't stream today because I'm she's looking looking to get into a place where there's no resistance and that place doesn't exist. Anything that you decide is worth doing is you're going to have you're going to feel some resistance to it because I want to do a good job. And the only way to do better at this is to do it messily first. I've had a lot of days. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, if you're not as good at something as you want to be, it's because you haven't spent the time doing it imperfectly. So I'm spending the time to do it a little rough. Doing it rough. Not like that. Not like that. I was going to say, I have had a lot of days. A lot of those days where I say I'm going to stream and don't. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of the days where I say I'm going to stream and end up not streaming is because I tell myself that for some reason I'm not ready. And instead of streaming, I'll, um, I'll be like, you know what? This is going to be a really productive day. I'm going to take care of everything. I'm going to do everything that I need to do to be successful for tomorrow. <laughs> And it feels like I'm doing something very productive. What, what I have been struggling to accept for a long time is that that's not action. Planning is something that you should do and need to do, but you need to do it once and then move on. Otherwise, if you're uh, just you find that you're making plans way more often than you're actually acting on the plans, that's just a form of avoidance. You are using planning as a way to put off what you actually want to do. Thank you, Ethel. You're very sweet. And that's tough. That's tough. Um, accepting that it's not, not a lack of plan, not a lack of ability, not a lack of anything, really. It's just a, a lack of the <clears throat> ability to do something that doesn't make you feel like you're in a cozy blanket. You don't get to feel comfortable all the time if you want to progress on projects. If you want to progress on anything, you got to be uncomfy and do it. Let me see. And Nandi, feel the I re recommend the five second rule method for this. If you Google it, you haven't heard of it, you'll find something on it. Um, do you want to give me like a quick rundown of what that means? <laughs> Hi, Domsy. It is hard to back with a D. Um, it is hard. And I really want to keep doing it and getting better about uh, getting better at it. And I've got a lot of positive feedback. It makes me feel a lot better because I wasn't really sure. <laughs> um, and I've already said this. I think it would be kind of sad to just stop because it's a little scary some days. And I would rather have these rough days. I'm gonna feel a lot better about having these days where I'm not sure if I'm actually helping anybody, but at least I'm trying. <laughs> this is a better use of my time, I think, than spending another hour sitting down trying to make a script, you know. And this is all kind of meta because <laughs> my job is to talk about how I get myself to do my job right now. Domsy, I'm so glad you think that. Thank you. So yeah, that's been my big hang up today is, is the theme of this stream was planning and preparation and then waking up and <laughs> 
procrastinating for hours. No, just I'm trying to like I'm a, I just feel like a hypocrite because I'm here um, trying to say that I can help you guys perform better and act instead of procrastinate. And I'm a big procrastinator still. Yeah. <laughs> The five second rule requires you, hi Uncle YouTube, by the way, uh, requires you during moments of procrastinations to count backwards from five and then just get up to and do the thing. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly it. And it's simple. It should be simple, but it's hard for some reason. Like, you know, all you have to do is do it. All you have to do is do it. And doing something, doing something below the level that you want to see it done at is still better than not doing it. That's, that's my lesson. I am still going to share with you guys my process of my planning process, basically. Hello, BMK all day. So I'll say this. This I don't, I don't know. I feel like I have to justify myself. This is this is the process. This is um you know, week 2 of a severely depressed avoidant person um taking action anyway you know so i this the show is really for people who are like me and struggling like i am so it's okay <laughs> it's okay that I'm not at I'm not at the goal yet. We're walking through it. About to fail a class this quarter because of your struggles. It happens. Um, are you in Are you at, in college? I struggled a lot. I struggled a lot when I was in school, which is really frustrating because, I mean, I struggle in most things that I do, and it it feels shitty because I feel that I have all the potential and I have all the resources. I have the capability. And yeah, I've I've always been functional, but I have always felt like I should be achieving a lot more. Um yeah, and I honestly came I kind of came close to not graduating, which shouldn't have been the case cuz I'm, I'm a smart person. I understood all the concepts. I really just had trouble finishing assignments due to what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> Stress, avoidance, um, the inability to start because you feel like you need to spend seven days planning and zero days doing. Um, what I wish I had done more when I was in college is use more of the resources. Um, I wish that I had spent more time using like the counseling services. There won't be another time in your life where you well, probably won't be another time in your life where you have access to so many people whose job it is to help you and not having, I mean, obviously you pay for it if you're paying tuition, but it's already paid for. So use it, go to the counseling, um, go to office hours. I went to a small university, so I was allowed to do these things. I don't really know how larger universities work, but um, I had a really, I had a close relationship with my professors and I think that that kind of saved me. <laughs> I think they gave me some leniency because they knew me and knew how hard I was trying. Um, but yeah, if you're, I know like in college, you feel like you're supposed to be an adult and just, and just do it, but you're allowed to go and talk to your professor and talk about whatever is like preventing you from getting this essay done, you know, um, it might make you feel a lot better. Just be like, hey, here's my ideas. Um, 
I just have so much stress about starting this and they'll give you guidance. That's their job. You're coming right in the middle of some downer. I'm sorry. That's, that was my fear. That was like my number one thing when I was like, okay, I'm going to talk about mental health. I don't even want to call it like, I don't want to call it a mental health stream or like a depression or anxiety stream because I don't want this to be, um, th that's been my, my problem with uh, a lot of like depression communities that are supposed to be for support. Is it turning into a uh, wallowing, you know, like I distance myself from that because I don't want to go hang out with a bunch of people who just have problems that they don't know how to deal with. I do want this to be very focused on this is the problem and this is this is the solution that we're trying. <laughs> and um, yeah, hopefully I am. Gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm very messy today, but I am improving. I am improving. And it's hard not to not to judge myself on uh, not being super polished, but. Yeah, that's why it's a scary thing. I'm I'm starting here, trying to get here, and I'm I want this to be like a series where where you see me doing this, and hopefully you follow along and you're also doing this. And yeah, so I'm I'm just trying to like. Quiet that voice right now. That's bumming me out. This is TED Talks, 10 years in the future. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, the other thing about like, I don't feel like there's a lot of in between in like, mental health communities like you either get a, a very obviously healthy person who's doing great and is like just do this and this and this and and that's what I do and I'm doing great and you're like okay but I can't <laughs> or like the other end of the spectrum where it's just a bunch of depressed people who can't help each other I, I feel like I'm in the middle there I've pulled myself out of depressive episodes um, I'm pulling myself up right now I'm, I'm doing fairly well So that's, uh, yeah, that's our kind of raw, messy project. <laughs> Instead of TED Talks, Fieldy Talks. <laughs> and this is, this is helping me. Like, in this current moment, it's not helping me. Right now, I kind of feel like I'm floundering and losing people, and it's stressful. But really trying to think. I, I want to come, come online and give you... I don't want to waste your time. I want to give you good information that's going to help you. And that's, that's causing me to think hard about what the right thing to do is and how to get there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I'm, uh, I am the proving I'm proving a lot of the points that I want to make negatively by being the example of what I'm trying to avoid mango 32 months hello honey thank you so much for for supporting me how are you how you doing baby um that is the theme that is the theme for today though I think the the fear of doing something poorly, this, pr <laughs> I talk about paralysis a lot. Like I think anyone with depression, anxiety, um, ADD, whatever, or even people who are mentally healthy, it's, I think that that paralysis is really just about not really being willing, you know, like, <laughs> you know, you're going to struggle with whatever you're doing that day. So it's like, why bother? 
um, you have to bother. Go struggle with it. Go do a bad job. It's better to do a bad job than not do a job. <laughs> the fear of doing something poorly should be the title of your autobiography. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I was... <laughs> I was one of those kids who really excelled in school at a young age. And I, this is kind of like a meme. I see this shit on like Twitter and Tumblr all the time. Um, success came very easily to me. And I think that has a lot to do with my inability to grapple with struggling or being less than perfect at something. I didn't have to deal with being bad at things. <laughs> Um, I didn't build that character maybe that I needed to. So now I'm 27 and learning how to be okay with doing, doing things wrong. Um, little kids fuck up all the time. They don't sweat it. You know, they go be bad at soccer, go be bad at writing poems, be clumsy. They just, they just keep going and getting better, but adults don't like to. Adults want to be a completed package and you're not gonna, you can't grow. Can't grow if you're not willing to go fuck up. Yeah. Thanks, Awake Toe. All right. 40 minutes, I've kind of, this is what I'm saying. I'm going, I feel like I'm really going in this circle right now. I'm trying to get out of it, but I am still going to tell you about uh, planning. Planning. After I drink some more water. I hope I'm not scaring you guys away. Some of these streams are going to be really good, I promise. <laughs> Plans for the rest of the day, yeah. Actually, I did wake up and write down my plan for the day. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Was to uh, write, stream. I got way too much stuff on this list. Go to the optometrist, dry cleaner, call my mom, jog, shower, look hot, stream again, read, get ready for bed, and take my drugs. Uh, <laughs> I have gone ahead and it's kind of hard to see, but this is like my list. And <laughs> thanks, Jason. The struggle is valuable. I hope you feel good for having completed your goal and overcoming your fear today. Thank you. Poetic and noble land mermaid. Wow, that was really nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> um, I'm glad you appreciate it. So uh, yeah, I made, I made this list. I know it's kind of bright so you can't see it, but what I'm showing you anyway is that I just like, I made the list. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. There's 13 things on there for a person who struggles to do one thing. So I just went ahead and highlighted the ones that are like, absolutely necessary and those things are uh stream jog and shower and take my meds hey what's up sample vampire um this to-do list kind of illustrates a problem that i have and that is trying to do too much I'm talking about priorities a lot if you have too many priorities you don't have any priorities that's just the definition of priorities. Um, you have to choose and you have to make sacrifices. Some of the things that you want to do aren't going to happen. But I've decided that streaming is the, my primary goal. My primary goal for the week is to be streaming. <laughs> All right, Mango, thanks for lurking. 13 things, I've done three of them. I woke up and made breakfast sat down to stream, um, tried to 
make it real clear to myself what my direction was going to be. And I really struggled with it. And then I, <laughs> I came to the conclusion. I was like, this is going to be messy, but I just have to do it. And then I went downstairs to get a snack. I was like, cool, I'm going to eat this bell pepper and then I'll go upstairs and stream. But what I ended up doing was making a lunch that I wasn't hungry for. I ended up cooking some chicken and bacon and I diced a bell pepper and some cucumbers and salad. And I made this delicious cob salad and gave it to my boyfriend and put mine in the fridge because I, I didn't want it. <laughs> and I, I felt like uh, Michael Scott when he's trying to form his own business and he makes like 500 pancakes or like French toast or whatever. So you'll, you'll do crazy things to avoid what needs to be done. It's, it's, it's funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't know why this is so hard for me right now. I really don't. clean to procrastinate yeah and it's you know it happens we do this what i like to do is to use sunday as as a day to prepare for the week and i did do a very good job okay thank you ethel <laughs> i did do a very good job of preparing for the week. And the, the new skill that I need to work on is just waking up on Monday and doing it even if it, even if I feel unprepared. There's no amount of preparation is, is gonna make it less scary. So just, you spend one day planning, know what you have to do, the next day, you just do it. That's it. I love you guys, by the way. I'm, I'm, the reason that I'm struggling is because I'm realizing that uh, what I want to show you guys about getting organized is like a very in-depth way that I, <laughs> that I put off doing the things I'm supposed to. <laughs> it is. Um, I think that I, I abuse planning. I abuse planning to avoid doing. But the other part of, I mean, what makes it complicated is that at the same time, I mean, obviously I do better when I have a plan. <laughs> I do much better when I have a plan. Um, it's finding this balance of not using it as, as an excuse. You know, you make the plan and you do the plan. But this is, um, th this is what I usually do on Sunday. I, I plan my week. <laughs> so sunday obviously if you got shit to do monday do not spend monday morning doing this this is sunday i set up my week um decide the things that i want to do every day write down some important events uh with bullet journaling Turning that brightness back up because it makes me look cute. Um, with bullet journaling, the the nice thing about it is the task migration. I spend Sunday kind of looking back on the week and looking back at any of the lists that I made and noticing anything that I didn't do because all of those little tasks that didn't get done are things that are going to be nagging and distracting you. 
Not, not that kind of bullet. So Sunday is my migration day where you look back. This is why it's important to have all of, all of your thoughts in one place because I can look back and be like, all right, instead of just feeling shitty going into Monday, being like, I didn't do the things that I, I didn't do all of the things that I wanted to do. That's okay. Just move them, put them on your list for this week. Mm-mm. and there were honestly kind of a lot of things i also have like a task list where i just write down like anything that i want to do that's on my mind but that's not a priority just stuff to do at some point point. and saturday and sunday i try to do as much of those things as i can so that you know on monday i'm not like oh, I need to stream, but there's no food, or I don't have any clean clothes, or you know, my desk is too messy, whatever. Get all that shit out of the way. And then realize that you're still gonna have all these things nagging at you. And it, <laughs> they're still going to nag, but you're going to decide what's important and do it anyway. I think that's, I think that's about all I got. I, I <laughs> this is a pretty weak coffee with Fieldy, but that's what I got. That's, that's my lesson for today. That's my struggle. It takes a lot of practice to... It takes a lot of practice to do things that make you uncomfortable. Talking you into your last final...